Holy shit, that's a big explanation. Wow, okay. All right, wow. 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 God, can you stop teasing me today? Wow. Wow. Machara Wilson. Wow. Wow. I got a funny feeling. Uh, hello, people. I'm Jabby Kway, joined by a chart. Kirk. What's up? We're looking at a Vice video today. This one, surprisingly, is uh, why Japan is obsessed with this Indian actor. I had no idea that this was a thing. I had no idea that Nippon was obsessed with Rajnikanth. Nippon is uh, the Japanese word for Japan. In 1998, Indian superstar Rajnikanth's film Muthu opened to a phenomenal response from Japanese fans, becoming a runaway hit at the Japanese box office, staying in the theater for more than 100 days. Wow. Wow. Man, we can't even do that in the States with Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> Yasuda Hidetushi, hide Toshi's, Hidetushi's, Toshi. Hidetoshi's tryst with Rajinkant's movies also began with Muthu, released in Japan as Muthu the Dancing Maharaja. Yasuda is one of Rajinkant's biggest fans, running a Japanese fan site dedicated to the superstar traveling to Chennai for the release of every new Rajinkant movie. Wow. Organizing events, wow. organizing events that celebrate the superstar's birthday and new movie release in Japan with other fans. He can often be seen zipping around in an auto rickshaw that he imported from India to Japan in honor of one of Rajinkant's characters from Basha, who was an auto rickshaw driver. Vice met Yasuda in Osaka. Japan to understand how he became a Rajnikanth fan, stories and experiences from his travels to India, and what it was like to meet Rajnikanth in person, and what it means to be a fan of the superstar. Wow. Wow. You guys, hit that subscribe button, please, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Wow. I missed the last part of that. What is it? Where? Uh, in, including in Japan, we're one of the biggest. Gotcha. Wow. Wow. Wow.そうですね。私の大好きなスーパースタータレイバルラジニさんの部屋へようこそ。どうぞご覧ください。え、まずこちらはですね、日本で公開されたラジニさんの映画のポスターを飾っています。左からペーター、そして一番有名なムッツですね。え、そしてチャンドラムキ、そしてシワージ、アルダチャラムですね。姫ゼリフも少しずつ
、私はこの作品が一番好きなんですね。えー、このですね、えー、バーシャという作品、ラジジさんはマフィアのドーンの役をしているんですけども、最初はリクシャと言いまして、インドの三輪タクシーですね。えー、この運転手をしている庶民的な人という役をしているんですけども私はそのキャラクターがすごく好きで、えー、実はもうリクシャーも買ってしまいました。I、uh, totally find this relatable. I mean, I feel like a lot of us can find this relatable. We don't generally associate this level of fandom, at least for Americans. Like, we don't, we don't recognize this level of fandom for Indian films the way we do other things like anime or Hong Kong action films and stuff like that. Like, I was watching an American, not a, I think it was American, an American reviewer talking about RRR. And he was calling out how, like, the level of fandom that Asian films typically will get, or just foreign films in general, we don't normally see that for Indian films. And RRR is one of the first ones that's really actually been noticed by mainstream. I totally recognize this because I did the same thing as a kid. I was so obsessed with, like, certain film stars from overseas that, like, that was just all over my room. Video games from overseas as well, like Mario and whatever. Yeah. Not so much the anime. Scene. But yeah, I, I totally get this. It makes well, sense to me. I mean, my name is Jabby for fuck's sake. So yeah. <laughs> it's like Jabby is a name comprised of people I was a huge fan of. I mean, Bruce Lee's American, but the other two aren't American. And so, yeah. anyway. I'm sort of trying to put myself in his shoes as a Japanese guy, right? And I feel like a lot of the movies in Japan, at least the ones that we've been exposed to, tend to have a very different tone、Absolutely. to a lot of the Indian films. Absolutely. And so I would imagine that upon seeing a Rajnikant film for the first time, his mind was. It's probably blown. It's like, oh my God, the singing, the dancing, the drama, the action, like everything is in this movie. And this this guy, like, what a hero. I can understand how he could be so enraptured by Rajnikant and just become a super fan from that moment on. Like, it's,、yeah. it's so cool and it's so wholesome to see how much he loves Rajnikant. Yeah. <laughs> その DVD なんですけどもこちらにいろいろ並べていますこういった DVD ボックスですとかあこちらはカタカナで書かれています通り日本語の字幕のついた DVD たくさん発売されていますココナッツを割ってえー、これが登場シーンですね。ここでもう現地の劇場は大反響です。Yeah. これはみんな黄色いタオルをしているのがリクシャーウンちゃんのメンバーですね。いきなりダンスシーンがスタートしました。満員御礼で、えー、熱気ムンムンの中で見たバーシャのですね一曲目のナンアトカーランという曲。もうこの曲のダンスを見ただけで本当に泣きそうになりました。Wow. ラジニさんのファンになった理由いろいろあるんですけども、まあ、最初はもちろん映画が好きでしたあ彼のスタイルそしてアクションですねスタイルピリキュンアクションピリキュンこの有名な決め台詞がスタートしますバーシャオルダルベソンナヌールダルベソンナはでもですね、えー、一番今好きなのはイエリメイというところなんですねこれはシンプルという意味なんですけども彼のリアルライフです本当の生活、えー、まあすごくまあ言った稼いでいるタミルでまたインドで一番の俳優さんなんですけどもその実生活というのはですねすごい質素なんですね着飾ることもない。えー、家もそれほど豪邸ではない高級車に乗り回すわけでもない飛行機で出かける時もエコノミークラスといった具合です、wow. えー、そして自分の稼いだお金で、えー、学校を作ったり、wow. 病院を作ったり、えー、すごい尊敬しています。私はタミル語少しだけわかるんですけども少し言えなくタミルコンジョンコンジョンなんていうラジーさんの映画が公開されるたびに必ず、えー、初日初回に、えー、インドに行っていますのと、まあ、はっきりとは覚えていないんですけどもだいたい20回から25回ぐらいは行ってるんじゃないかなと思います。バーバーという映画でインドに行く機会がありまして初めてインドに行きました。
えホテルに帰りますとなんとですね偶然にそのホテルにラジンさんが会議をするために帰ってこられたところだったんですね。<笑>そこで初めてあまあ初めてインドに行って初めてラジンさんにお会いすることができました。まあものすごく興奮しましたけども、その時に私はですね実は英語も話せませんし、タミル語も全くわからなかったんですね。せっかくラジンさんに会えたのにまあ嬉しかったですけどもほとんどコミュニケーションできなかったです。Oh、<笑>これからタミル語を勉強するようになりました。まあ、今ではですねなかなかタミル語教室っていうのはないので主にインターネットですとか、まあ、ラジンさんの映画を見てタミル語を勉強していますのでルルだけそんな、まあ、主にラジンさんの決め台詞とかそういったことがメインにはなってしまうんですけども、まあ、それでもですねタミルの方たちはあの少しタミル語を話すだけでもすごく喜んでいただけますので自分のモチベーションになっています。少し、まあ、タミル語を話せるようになったところで、えーまあ、いつもですねチェン内に行った時にはラジンさんの家の前で、えー、お祝いを兼ねてですね、oh, 写真を撮りに行くということもいつもしています。今ラジンさんの家の家前に来ていますなんと偶然に、えー、中からですね、えー、ワイツに呼ばれまして家<笑>、えー、の中に入らせていただくとなんとそこに、えー、2回目の、oh, awesome. 会いに来たラジンさんが座っていらっしゃったというところですねせっかくタミル語をこう覚えたんですけど、oh my God. Oh, no. <笑>で緊張して実はほとんど喋れなかったんですけど、まあ、決め台詞を言ったり披露したりとかしてラジンさんをハハハと笑っていただいたりとかそういった楽しい思い出ができましたね。That's great. Oh, that's so sweet. And here's someone outside speaking Japanese. He's like, well, it can only be one person, right? <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. ラジニーさんがですね自分のまあ人生にどれだけ影響を与えたかということなんですけども、oh, もうこれは数えきれないですね、もし今、ラジニーさんのファンになってなかったら、今頃何をしていたのかなと思うぐらいです、今の私にとってラジニーさん向きの生活というのは考えられないです。で私の人生で一番ラジニーさんに影響されたというのはやはり結婚かもしれないです、ね oh, is he to a で。私が駅の売店をやっていましたと言いましたけどもその時にですねバーシャという、no、応援をやっていたんですけどもその応援活動がですね朝日新聞社に乗りましてその新聞の記事を見て私の、no、が店に来てくれたんですね。それでまあ意気投合しまして、oh, I thought he married like ですね、ラジンさんの映画の風景には、oh, just, like... まあ一緒に、えー、旅を Okay, so I, okay, real quick interlude or interjection. I, I just thought that maybe he had encountered like someone else who's like almost like meeting a a, a furry, like just some, someone who's just as hardcore. No, I think that's it. No, no, she. I think it was just a, a, a happy coincidence. Like、right. she decided to join in on the fandom for him. It sounds like. No, I think she came to the kiosk because there was some like fan activities which she had read about in the newspaper, and so she came. And so they're both fans, and then they go、uh, and travel together. I don't, I don't know if that's entirely true. My wife saw the newspaper article. Hold on, what was she doing? Covered by the Asahi newspaper. Yeah. My wife saw the newspaper article and came to visit. Okay, so I was right. Initially. Okay, so she is a, a hardcore fan. Yeah, so they've been traveling. Okay, so my, my understanding, my second understanding was incorrect. My first understanding was yeah. correct. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just like fans, I, fighting I, fans. I, okay, okay, he was making yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so the, yeah, it's like two furries. Okay, cool. Now, my issue is that I'm going to be in the world. 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 That's super cute. <laughs> That's a nice little overlay. Yeah. Edit. Par parallel. Yeah. All of the above. What? Oh. Did he start this? Oh no, he just likes the food. Okay. I thought that maybe he opened this restaurant. <laughs> でもよくよく考えたらそれも考えたらこういろいろ人生の中でラジーさんはすごい<笑>影響を及ぼしてるなって感じ。でも結婚できたのはラジーさんのおかげよ。私もムトゥのビデオから入っていやなんか
I think that's how the funniest thing is that, that description is very apt because I feel like that's how a lot of non Indians couldn't look at Indian superstars. Right. Like um, the one that got remade by Jay Devgan with the, the body buried under the house, Mohan Lal. It was Mohan Lal. I saw a trailer with Mohan Lal, and whoever I was watching it with looked at him and, and just thought he looked like a like an uncle or a dad. But he's a superstar. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And so I feel like when you get outside of Bollywood, oftentimes that's how the superstars will look to a non-Indian person. Sure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's super cute. Let's go get dosas. I've been saying that for like months now, ever since. I've been saying that for like months now, おいしい。私はインド料理っていうものをラジンさんの映画を見るまで食べたことが実はなかったです。え、え、インドの文化を広める伝道師だと思ってます。Oh my god, that's so much fun. I would love to go see Raj a Russian Khan film in Japan when it comes out. Because the the response to Rajnikanth in India is going to be wildly different than the response in Japan. I'm so, I'm like 100% certain of it. Japanese audience is inherently different. It's all about respect and yeah. and, and being measured in, in how you react to things and like mm, quiet and you know happy clapping happy clapping as exactly. opposed to like wow let's dance in front of the screen exactly. and like cheer and yeah yeah i'd be very very curious to see like a russia con film in japan with like hardcore japanese fans of russia con well maybe it, it allows them the to, opportunity to yeah be, to express know. themselves in that way when they normally wouldn't i think that's awesome インドの映画が定期的に上映されるような環境が整えばいいなと思ってます。そういった面で活動しているんですけども、最初 must also be cool for Japanese uh, for uh, Indians living in Japan. Yeah, to like share the love. I wonder if Indians in Japan are like, damn, like you really like this. You really like Russian Khan. Like you like it more than I do. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you know, like you would go to a white person's house who's obsessed with Asian stuff and there's like swords on the wall yeah. like the Japanese curtain or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they like wear a, 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 kimono. a kimono and like speak fluent Japanese. It's like, Jesus, like I don't even have that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wonder, it just makes me wonder. I would imagine that for a number of Indians living in, in Japan, the love is just as much shared by Indians and, and Japanese yeah, alike. Yeah, it, it's know? probably heartwarming as well yeah. to feel welcomed. Like that the things that you like in your culture is welcomed by foreigners too. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Indians teaching Japanese how to behave.私の壮大な夢についてですけども、え、ま、実現する可能性は0%に近いんですけども、ラジンさんはこれからも多分たくさんの映画に出演してくださることでしょう。そして私たちを楽しみさせてくれると思っています。yeah, give him something. Like he went that way. <laughs> like, give him a roll. He's like, that way. Go with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Raji, that's, got, that's Raji, all... Raji got the pants up on the shoulder. Yeah. And keeps it moving. So you thank know, you, buddy. It's all he needs. Yeah. You know, to be immortalized. I thought it was cute that he named his rickshaw Ricky. Nandri Wanaka. Oh. 
Love, love. Oh, that was so wholesome. Oh yeah. my God. That just put a huge smile on my face. Like his love translated across the screen to me. Mm -hmm. And like th that just fills my little black heart with so much joy. <laughs> little black heart. <laughs> My dead inside heart, you know? <laughs> I'm like, there is hope. There's positivity. There's love and joy. Like, I, I really enjoy it, like, seeing people's extreme fandom because, like, I'm a fan of things, but I have never been a fan to that extent. I have. And it's just really yeah. interesting. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe not to that extent because I've never... I've never learned another language as much as I've you know wanted to. Um, but like he straight up learned Tamil. Yeah, that's impressive. So, yeah, it's that's... not easy. I mean, you've been trying to learn Hindi for years. What have you got? I haven't really been trying. What it's have been... you got? Okay. Chukro. That's what I've got. So he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know Tamil. I think that when you have a wide, diverse range of interests, it's hard to find the time to just dedicate. Like the way Jap Japanese people have a much more simple approach to things. It's like okay, you find one thing and that's it. Very and then you singular. do that, you, you very singular, singular focus, and you do that one thing every day, a lot, over and over and over again, and you become like just really, really good at this one specific thing, and that's it. Right. And so he decided, I'm going to be the best Rajnikanth fan there ever was in Japan. And he made it. Yeah. Like, he learned the language, he's been to Japan, uh, been to India so many times. Like, I would say he's like an ambassador for, as a, as a Japanese fan uh, yeah. of Indian, of Tamil cinema and whatever, or Rajnikanth. Like, that's pretty cool. That is super cool. Yeah. Anyway. And I love the love story as well. Yeah, that's really cute. That's so adorable. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon, please all notifications, and vote this up. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Ashara Kirk. Peace out.